How's it going everyone? And welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly embed a spreadsheet or Google Sheets or basically any Excel file, or I should say spreadsheet platform to your WordPress site. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple and we need to get two things out of the way first and that's being logged into our WordPress account as an administrator, as well as our Google account. So um, the first thing that we're going to want is to extract the embed link from our Google Sheet that we want to add over to our WordPress site. So what you guys need to do is head on over to your spreadsheet, like so. So I have a dummy here, so let's just do uh, I'm an example to ensure that it works. So let's just type test here. And if this appears properly on our WordPress site, it's going to look cool. Okay, so here we are. So once you guys are here, you want to click on File on the top left corner of your screen, and there should be an option to share it or publish it. So under the Share tab, you want to click on Publish to Web, like so, and this will bring up this little window right here where you can get the embed link. So what you need to do is click on Embed. Actually, wait. First thing you need to do is click on um, Publish. So we're going to do Web Page as well as the entire document. Or you can be selective about which sheets you want to embed to uh, your WordPress site or your blog site or whatever. So let's just do the entire document. Click on Publish and OK. So this actually makes it public as per the name. And when you head on over to the Embed tab, here's the actual link that we're going to use. So you want to highlight this, copy it, and you want to head back to WordPress. So once you guys are here, you want to select the page or the site that you want to add the spreadsheet embed to. So to do that, you want to click on pages and you want to click on all pages so you get to manage um, your registered pages for WordPress. So um, you can just pick whatever here. So in my case, let's actually look to add um, the spreadsheet to the homepage. So all you have to do is click on the ellipses like so, click on edit. And this will actually redirect you to the page or the WordPress editor. And here you get to add a couple of different elements to your WordPress site. So here's an example. So what we're looking for here is the block inserter. So to show you guys an example, um, okay, where should we actually paste it? Um, okay, let's just, just do pages here. Hopefully I can find it. Um, let's do the front page or the about, oh, let's just do the front page here. Okay, so um, let's do the header. So it will show up right here as a proper embed. So once you've clicked on it, you guys want to click on this edit button and this will uh, show you the actual editor page. So from here, you want to click on the block inserter or the plus icon in the top left corner of your screen, like so. And then you want to look for the custom HTML block. So where is it? I shall just type HTML. Here we are. Okay, so custom HTML. So here it is. You know, make your selection. Uh, did I add? I think I just added two. So let's remove this one. Okay, so here we are. And we basically just paste what we copied over from our Google Sheet over to here. So when we go to paste it, click on preview. Here's what it looks like. And here's what how it will come out on your site. So this is the header, and under it is the actual Google Sheet. And you guys can obviously do things like resize this or um, customize it, change the font, change the color, whatever. Actually, since it's a proper embed, whatever is being changed here will automatically reflect on uh, your WordPress site or blog site. And that's honestly it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guys like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.